us like watching TV, don't we? Now, when we feel like watching something for entertainment, all we have to do is switch on a plug of the TV. But did you know that there is an entire circuit going on behind this? Well, this is called a domestic electric circuit and today we'll be learning about the working of it. This domestic electric circuit starts from the main supply which in turn receives its electric power from the electric ports which again bring the power supply from the power stations. So let's come back to the main supply. This acts like the battery for a house or in other words the source of voltage that powers the entire house. The potential difference of this supply is maintained at 220 volts. From this supply, there are two wires that come out, which are eventually connected to the various appliances in the house, and thus completing the circuit for the current to flow and thus power required for the appliances to run. Out of these two wires, the one which normally has a red insulation cover is called the live wire and also referred to as the positive wire, while the other with the black insulation cover is called the neutral wire or the negative one. From this supply, these wires first pass through an electricity meter which is placed inside the electricity board in the house. Now this electric meter records the number of units or basically kilowatt hours of electrical energy used and it is based on this that you get your electricity bill every month. From this board, the wires are connected to different line wires in the sense that these are the ones that are connected to separate circuits inside the house, basically your three hole power sockets. One is connected to the live wire and the other is connected to the neutral wire. Electrical appliances are connected to these circuits and an additional switch is provided. Thus, till this point, the entire connection is like a broken circuit with a ready potential difference but no current. So, for appliances like your TV to work, you need to plug them into the circuit and switch it on, causing the current to flow through it and thus providing it with the required power. Also, all these circuits are connected in parallel, each having its separate on and off switch. Now, there is also a third hole in these sockets or circuits. Now, why is that required? These holes are used for connecting the appliances to a separate green color earthing wire which is usually connected to a metal plate dug deep in the earth near the house. This is usually for our own safety because say if the insulation of the live wire accidentally wears off and it ends up touching metallic bodies of various appliances like say a toaster. Because of this, electric charges can get accumulated on it and can cause severe shocks to us if we happen to touch them. The earth wire thus provides an exit path for these charges returning the bodies to their normal state. Another danger with these connections is that sometimes the live wire may come in direct contact with the neutral wire especially when the insulation wears off. This leads to a condition called short circuit where the current in the circuit abruptly increases. Now this can cause overloading of the circuit and thus cause potential damage to the appliances. So to prevent all of these dangers, we use something called a fuse. Now a fuse as you know breaks off the circuit if the current exceeds a certain limit. So what have we learned in this video? We have seen what a domestic electric circuit is and how the different appliances in our house work because of these circuits. So until next time, happy learning!